Hi, and welcome to the first edition or episode of Dumb Tweets. So, Dumb Tweets is all about making fun of obviously stupid tweets, mostly MJ related, uh, but probably I will be adding uh, other tweets that are dumb and probably need mentioning. So, for today, I'm going to start with some uh, really I guess silly, dumb, stupid tweets and um, I'm trying to stay away from the hateful ones. Uh, some of the dumb tweets are kind of hateful but I think they're dumber than they're hateful so I'm trying to kind of find a balance there. I'm trying to keep this light and fun so I'm doing this because I want to shed some light on the stupidity that's out there and also for us to laugh a little bit because I mean obviously sometimes people tweet things and even though they delete them afterwards uh, they're saved for posterity for us to uh, have a bit of a laugh. So let's start with these uh, tweets and uh, I'm gonna have a bonus one for you guys today so uh, let's see. I don't know there's racist, ignorant and having one's identity so bound up in worshipping a celebrity that even when that celebrity is proved very clearly to be a terrible person you carry on worshipping them despite everything because otherwise your world, would, your world would fall apart, I'd say. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> uh, really, we are not defending Michael Jackson because we think that if we didn't, our world would fall apart. We're defending him because there is evidence uh, to support his innocence. And there's evidence to support that all the people throughout the years who've come forward with claims of abuse uh, are actually money grabbers. So seriously, uh, we do have a lot of other things to do besides going on Twitter and defending MJ. Um, I know my world wouldn't fall apart if a person that I admired uh, was not the person that I thought he was. Uh, but obviously this person is project projecting, it probably happened to them. So, um, there we go. If a tape with Michael molesting a child came out, I still would not believe it. I would think about an explanation for it. A MJ fan on a board years ago. You have my word. I mean, what? Uh, <laughs> again, we're not blindly defending a person because we're fans or because we admire them or whatnot. We're defending him because he's innocent. There's proof and it's out there for anybody who cares to do a little bit of research to find. So um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> and a lot of these people also, have you noticed how they don't actually have a profile pic? They have like some sort of, I don't know, graphic or like an empty or whatnot. So. Uh, so, somebody defending MJ was saying, say whatever you want as long as it's true and you can back it up with facts. And the person replied, HBO. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> HBO, seriously, that's your, that's your fact? Alright then. Michael Jackson was a pedo. Everyone needs to start dealing with that. Yes, he had great music, but apparently the Catholic Church was a safe haven too. Uh, okay, really? Uh, I think this is funny because this tweet actually was posted a while back, in February actually, and now we have uh, Wade Robson coming out comparing uh, MJ's estate with the Catholic Church. Uh, so this is, the timing is kind of good for this one. Um, okay, first of all, this is like comparing apples to oranges. Seriously, I mean... I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> First of all, there was so much proof and there was so many children that were coming forward with abuse stories uh, from the Catholic Church, uh, hundreds. And I mean, this is like an ongoing thing that happened for decades. Uh, leave MJ alone from your crazy fantasies person. I really don't understand your insistence that I need a jury decision just to make an observation. I don't give a shit about what the court said. Michael Jackson was a child molester and he got away with it. 
the only good thing about his life is that it ended I mean wow first of all hateful much second of all get a life because yeah you can't form an opinion uh, if you don't have all the facts I mean of course we're we're all opinionated we all have opinions and we all believe something but if your belief is based on falsehoods and things that have been fed to you for years uh, then you could say well this is what I believe based on all the tabloid media and all whatever but you can't say that the court that don't matter you can't say that the court transcripts don't matter because obviously uh, I mean they have to stand for something right so if you're gonna play that card then you have to take everything not just part of things that interest you uh, in the background you might be hearing my cat he's 20 years old and that's him um, all right so let's continue so you're saying they're liars you can't lie on television so you're wrong <laughs> what <laughs> um yeah so then everybody who ever appears on television is telling the truth because there is some sort of scanner that makes them tell the truth sort of like in uh, Jim Carrey's movie Liar Liar yeah I don't think so all right so let's go to the ones about MJ's music I find those uh, very amusing uh, there's one guy who says was Michael Jackson singing band to a rat or a little boy <laughs> okay this person is not just dumb but ignorant first of all Michael was a kid when he sang this song the first time so what was he like a pedo back then uh, was he in the grooming process since childhood uh, I mean seriously uh, second of all, Ben was actually not, Michael, I mean, was not the first choice to sing Ben. Uh, it was actually Donny Osmond, so uh, he couldn't do it and MJ's name came up, so he was the one who ended up singing it. So these people really need to get a bit of education about music or just shut the fuck up. All right, so since we're in the music um, tweet, section there's another one here the radio station in this grocery store does not seem to have heard of michael jackson's cancellation and it's actually playing human nature the song which reads the creepiest in hindsight first of all there is no michael jackson cancellation only you crazy people who believe a mockumentary uh, think there's a cancellation second of all he didn't even write human nature uh, he sang it, he liked it, obviously, otherwise he wouldn't have put it in his album, but he didn't write it. And here's another one. Man in the mirror is terrifying when you realize it's him begging himself to stop, resolving to do so and knowing it only got worse. <laughs> People, stop projecting, okay? Again, he didn't write the song. He loved it when he heard it. He put it in the bad album, but he didn't write the song. So, just a little bit for you uneducated people on MJ's music, I recommend this book, Man in the Music. For those of you who love MJ but don't have the book, I recommend it too. Uh, link in the description if you want to purchase it. It's awesome. Uh, Joe Vogel does a great job at focusing in the music um, only. Uh, sorry, on the music only and not on the tabloid and all the uh, controversy and all that. Um, so it's a great read, it's well written and it's, uh, it's fantastic. I highly recommend it. And um, let's continue then. Jackson is a pedo, it's the biggest cover up ever. Even the BBC stopped playing archives of him. Mind you, they do have to write some wrongs. I don't know what this person is on about. I uh, I mean <laughs> what? Okay. Why should I read court documents? The burden of proof is higher in a criminal case to prove guilt beyond any reasonable doubt. In civil court the reference is what a reasonable person would believe. And I think most reasonable people know better. 
and he tags Oprah because, I mean, obviously Oprah knows everything, right? Uh, first of all, his tweet doesn't make any sense. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Maybe you guys can make out what the hell he's on about. Um, but yeah, somebody else who needed some attention. Somebody who's defending MJ says, the current state of degrading human thinking abilities when she's referring to a tweet that says, R. Kelly should do what Michael Jackson did to avoid prosecution and turn white. One word, vitiligo. Here's another one. Yet another liar. The MJ fam were never happy with MJ's actions. Now Attach Jackson 3 has to diminish the damage done by his uncle. Noticed how he never just says Michael. Want to know why? He's being coached by PR people. He was my uncle. Sounds better than I am his nephew. <laughs> Crazy much. I think this person missed their medications that day. Um, I guess when she says MJ fam, she means uh, the Jackson family. And she also has a tendency, I went on her timeline, to uh, harass Taj. So she tags him in a lot of crazy tweets. Uh, second of all, uh, yeah, when you're talking about your uncle to somebody in third person, you say my uncle. I don't know how she talks about her uncle. I mean, <laughs> I mean, where did this all come from? Where did they grow up? the last tweet of today uh, MJ related because I promised you a bonus one this is typical super fan behavior she spent her whole life loving MJ she could catch him in bed with her own child and she'd make excuses for him again stop projecting people this is not what we're doing there's proof that he's innocent and this is why we're defending him he's not here to defend himself so we're doing it and we wouldn't even be doing it if there weren't so many people attacking him anyway and the final one, which is not really MJ related, but it's related to the whole uh, Me Too, I guess, and the whole uh, falsely accused people. This tweet is so dumb, I mean, I don't even have words. Here's an, un an unpopular opinion. I'm actually not at all concerned about innocent men losing their jobs over false sexual assault harassment allegations. I have no words for that one. So. With that one, you guys, I leave you for now. I hope you enjoyed the first edition of Dumb Tweets, or episode, rather. And uh, there'll be more coming uh, every week. And uh, hopefully, I want to do something special for MJ's birthday. So um, stay tuned. If you liked it, share it. If um, you want to subscribe to my channel, you're welcome to do so. I'm looking forward to your comments and uh, anything that uh, you would like to hear or improve. Um, this is the first one I'm doing. So uh, thank you for tuning in. And um, I hope to see you again next week. Take care. Bye now.